check it out. I got a new subwoofer for my van. I just finished building this to use as a steering wheel. Clicks right on. I trimmed out the steering column with a T319 voice coil. This has got an energy quick release on it and it honks. I probably could have made this thing uh, play, but I really don't need it to play. I already got plenty of bass. So let me show you how I built this thing. This is all the parts and pieces I need to build this steering wheel. This is the original steering wheel right here that I'm using. It already has an energy quick release adapter on it. You can take the horn off of here. We don't need that anymore. Take the steering wheel off. Leaves you with this quick release adapter. We're gonna need to attach this to the back of this bad boy. So this is a Rockford T1 shallow subwoofer. And this is how deep it is. It's almost as deep as the steering wheel. So this thing will fit perfect as a steering wheel. First off, we get this trim ring on here. Thanks to my dudes at Rockford, they uh, sent me out a second one of these trim rings. So I'm gonna put one of these guys on the back. That way when you grab this with your hands, it's gonna be nice and smooth all the way around. Made this template out of wood. This template lines up with the holes on here so I can attach this to here and then this piece to here. Once I got all these holes perfect and uh, everything exactly where I want it, I know it's gonna work. Boom. Transferred it to aluminum. It's gotta be strong, it's gotta steer a car. This little groove, this is cut for the wires I need to run. Let me show you how this thing goes on. Now, on the inside here, there's a bracket and a little pin switch. When this little pin switch comes down, it connects and honks the horn. So we're gonna look right in here. There is a pin switch. And when the cone travels down, it pushes the button, honks the horn, and there you have it.